Windows 11 is already pretty clean, but what if I told you it could look even better? Today, I'm showing you a mod that completely transforms Windows 11 into something minimal, modern, and honestly, way more aesthetic than stock. We're talking cleaner taskbar, refined icons, smoother animations, the whole package. And the best part, it takes like 10 minutes to set up. Now, before we get into it, if you're enjoying the content and want to see more Windows customization videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and drop a like. It genuinely helps the channel grow and lets me know you want more of this stuff. So if you're tired of default look and want your desktop to actually feel premium, let's dive in. So this is something you guys can expect after watching this video until the end. Those really super clean widgets on your desktop. Then also this custom Windows 11 cursor with the custom taskbar as well as this super glass effect start menu. So yeah, this is something that you guys can pretty much achieve after watching this video until the end. And now now let's get straight into the tutorial. So first, let's take care of this taskbar and then also the start menu. Now, make sure that you go here to this website. It's called windhog.net. On this website, click on this download button to get this open source free customization program for Windows 11. Once you have the installer, you can go here to the file explorer, go here inside your downloads folder, and in here you will find windhog setup. Double left click on it and install it like you would any other program. Now, once you have it installed, you can go here to the start menu, search for the Windhawk and click here on the Windhawk application and it should open straight away. Now to fix the Windows 11 taskbar, you will have to install this modification. It's called Windows 11 taskbar styler. Now, if you don't see it here under the featured mods, you can simply go here on the explore page and on top here, paste this inside or type it in and here go to the details and click on install. I do already have it installed. So once you also do have it installed, you can go here to the settings and under the theme, you will have to look for this one right here. It's called window glass. You can click on it and then here click on save settings. And now you should see that you have a brand new taskbar here at the bottom with this windows glass theme applied. Now you can also see that it looks actually a bit odd. So to fix that, you will have to install another modification. And this one is called here taskbar height and icon size. So make sure that you also install this one. And here I will toggle it on to enable it. And then here you will have to go to the details and under the advanced here, you will have to change following settings. Pretty much go here under the mod settings, remove every single piece of code. And then here go to your web browser and you want to go here to this website. I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. And for this window glass theme, you will have to scroll down until you find this option to expand JSON content. Now, this is very important because here on the right, you will find this copy button, click on it and then here, go back to your Windhawk program and paste these commands inside. So pretty much like this, icon size should be set to 30, taskbar height to 70, taskbar button width 44, icon size small to 20, and taskbar button width small should be set to 30. Now click on save and you should see how your taskbar actually adjusts. And that is pretty much it for the taskbar. It should look much better compared to before. Now let's take care of this start menu. So this is the default new start menu look from Windows 11 25 H2. And to fix this look, you can go here to the Windhawk and this is the next modification which you want to install. It's called Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Of course, you can always go here to the Explore option and search for it here. Once you have it installed, you can go here to the settings and down below you will find again some of the theme options. So this modification was updated recently and it introduced this really nice effect for Windows Glass. So make sure that you click on this first option and then here click on Save Settings. And now if we take a look here at the start menu, we can also see that it looks super nice. It has this really nice blur effect behind the start menu. And then here we have the pinned applications and down below we have applications sorted by category. And you can also see this really nice blur behind the folder. So yeah, overall, I think it does look super well. And here also the name looks super clean and minimal with this glass effect. 
Now we can also sort the applications here by grid or even the list. So yeah, these are some of the options you get by installing these modifications and applying this theme. Now we are pretty much sorted with the start menu and also the taskbar. Now let's take a look here at the cursor. So this is the default Windows 11 cursor, but we can make it a whole lot better than that. So let's go here to this website. I found this cursor completely for free and I will also put this link in the video description down below, right below the like button. And you guys can also subscribe to the channel if if you are enjoying this type of content. Now here, what you want to do is go here and click on the download for free. And you guys should get this zip file where, which you can find here inside downloads folder. Pretty much you can find this cursor concept three free and make sure that you select it here and click on extract. And then you should get here this folder. You can go inside here, the cursor folder, and you will find here two of the folders, light or dark. If you prefer dark, for example, you would install dark cursor, or if you prefer light one, you would install light one. I will go with the light one here and here you will find this file. It's called install, right click on it. And then here click on install and this should get you a brand new cursor. Now, in case if it doesn't install, you can also install it manually. So let's go here to the start menu, search for the cursor and make sure that you click on this option. It's called change the mouse pointer display or speed. Here, what you want to do is go here under the pointers section and make sure that you have this one selected. So normal select. Click Click here on browse and you will have to go inside your home folder, go inside your downloads folder and here click on cursor concept 3 free. Here I will go inside cursor folder and here I will select the light one because I do prefer the light version. And then here you will have to select the arrow one and click on open. Now for the working in background, you can click on browse and here you will have to click on the app starting one and click on open once again. Now for the busy one, click on browse and scroll down down below until you find this one, which is called wait and click on open. And then the last one, which is link select, click on browse and then here click on the hand one, click on open and then you can click on apply and you should immediately see here a brand new cursor. And you can also save it as something else. So for example, click on save as and here you can call it, for example, new cursor win 11. So this is the name and click on OK. And you can also select it from this drop down. So just like this, click on apply and OK. And this is basically how you guys can install a brand new cursor on Windows 11. Now let's fix the wallpaper as well. So this is basically the default Windows 11 wallpaper, but I found much better one here on the unsplash.com website. And this one is looking super clean. So to download the highest quality, you guys can click here on this drop down and here select the original size. And then and you will navigate here inside your file explorer, go inside your downloads folder. And here you should get this wallpaper. You can double left click on it to open it inside the photos app. Here, click on three dots, go to set as and click on lock screen and then also set as background. So that way you should get the same wallpaper as your background on your desktop and then also on your lock screen. So just like this. And in my opinion, it does look much better compared to before. And now let's talk about the widget. So to install the widgets on your computer, you will have to actually install this widget provider. It's called Rainmeter. Here on this website, click on download and install it like you would any other program. Now here I do have it already up and running and this is how it actually looks like. And now to install the widget pack, you will go here to this website. It's called Mond Rainmeter Theme and the website is called Visual Skins. So pretty much I will also put a link for this website in the video description down below. Here, click on the download button and uh, once you have it, you can go here inside your downloads folder and click on the Mond skin file and then here click on install. Remember, you have to have Rainmeter installed on your computer before actually installing any of the widgets. And now here you can just close the settings and now this is where you will have to modify the widget. So for example, this one right here, you can right click on it and click on unload skin and make sure that you repeat the option here for this dot as well as for the recycle bin. And now for this one, I'm gonna place it somewhere here at the top. You can right click on it and then here click on edit skin. 
Now for the scale here, I'm gonna put 1.60. And then here, if we scroll down, make sure that you delete meter date, just like so. Leave here meter day. And here on top, make sure that you delete meter 12 hour clock and then also meter 24 hour clock. So just like this. And then here on top, click on file and click on save. And now we can close here the editor and we can right click on the widget and click here on refresh skin. And this is pretty much how it looks like. And you can also place it somewhere here on top. And now let's continue with the next next widget pack which is called Monterey and you guys can also get it on this website right here I'm gonna put a link for it in the video description down below and here click on this file so it should end with .rm skin and now once you have it go inside your downloads folder and click here on the Monterey click on install and wait for a few seconds and here I will enable calendar I will enable monitoring weather and notes and we can also enable here the reminders as well. Now here, I'm gonna place the reminder somewhere here on the bottom left corner, notes next to it, the weather widget somewhere here on the right. Now this one also somewhere here and for the calendar widget, I'm gonna place it right here, right click on it and click on white size. So it looks like this. And now for the weather widget, I'm gonna change this to white as well and this one to white as well once again and place it somewhere here so just like so and now for the location of the weather widget you can just right click on it click on edit and here you can change this to for example whatever city you are in i will type in here london and click on enter and then here click on save and that is pretty much it for the customization now in my personal opinion the setup looks much better compared to before much more aesthetic and it also has this really nice cursor the widgets and also start menu as well as the taskbar which are inspired by the glass effect so if you enjoy this video make sure that you leave a thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel and i will also put every single tool mentioned in this video linked below now with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.